hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious and uh, in this video we want to look at the concept of uh, straight line equations you remember we have been on plane analytic geometry the study of straight lines the equations of straight lines and we started by looking at the concept of uh, distance between two points and from there we saw um, gradient of lines and then uh, we later saw parallel and perpendicular lines, all right? So in today, we are going straight into the concept of straight line equations, all right? Um, there is what we call a straight line. So I already defined straight lines, and I said that um, it's just a combination of many points. It can be diagonal, like the one I just drew. It could be uh, horizontal it could be vertical or whatever all right so and we have equation for straight lines and this is the general form of the equation of straight lines it is actually a linear equation all right and um, you can have like what i said here ax plus by plus c equal to zero where your a b and c are uh, constants that's uh, normal numbers right so uh, let's look at some examples if i write something like 2x plus say 3y uh, plus maybe 5 is equal to 0 this is an example of a straight line uh, equation okay and uh, remember that this is these equations have different form i can actually decide to make y the subject in this case is going to be 3y is equal to minus 2x minus 5. So if I divide uh, uh, through by 3, I'm going to have that y alone is minus 2 over 3x and then minus 5 all over 3. Okay, so you can choose to write your y as the subject and then it gives you another form of straight line equation. However, this is the general form of uh, the equation of straight lines. Okay, so in the subsequent um, uh, slides, we are going to see how to generate uh, the equations of uh, straight lines, which is dependent on the different forms that we have. For instance, look at here, we have, uh, you can actually be given the slope of a straight line and then the intercept, what we call the y-intercept and you'll be asked to find the equation of that line. And that is this first form. So we have other forms, about three forms that we're going to look at. Now you can also be given a point and then the slope, and you'll be asked to find the equation. And then the third one, you can be given both the x-intercept, sorry, this is the x-intercept here, and then you can also be given the y-intercept and you'll be asked to find the equation of straight line and this is what we are going to be looking at but before we go into all of that you should take note from what i just showed you now that every straight line when it comes to the cartesian plane a straight line has two very most important uh, properties one is the slope of the line and then two is the intercept of the line so you have to understand these two properties of a straight line the slope of the line and the intercept of the line and we have also seen the slope on uh, in some other videos you can check that the slope or also the gradient of uh, straight lines and then when it comes to intercept intercept talks about where the line cuts the x or the y axis so a line can have uh, a, a y intercept and may not have an x intercept that means it didn't cut the x axis and then and so on so but definitely every line actually has both x and y are intercepts the only thing is that the intercept could be zero okay so in fact if a line passes through the origin so it means that both the y intercept and the x intercept are actually equal to what zero right so these two properties are very important in determining the equation of a straight line and that's why we have these different forms that we have here so in this video i'm going to quickly show us the the different formulas that we will get when we have these conditions and then how we got them and from there 
we will now come back in the next video to see these examples that we have here so what's the nature of the formula when you have a slope and intercept it is usually this way y is equal to mx plus c where our uh, m is the slope you remember i said that is uh, in fact it's actually here where our m is the slope and then our c is the y intercept c is the y intercept so it, it, the implication here is that if you have the y intercept of a line and the slope of the line you can form the equation of that line using this formula very simple just put the slope here and then put the y intercept whatever you get is the equation of that line now like i said i want to show us how this formula was generated so it's gotten using the information of the slope that we know now let's let's look at it so if i decide to form a slope triangle here that's a right angle triangle like this so let this point be my point x y okay so i want to get the equation of this line y okay so by the formula of slope you remember i said that slope is equal to your y2 and uh what is our slope remember we said it should be m and what is our y2 in this equation or oh, sorry in this uh, graph here our y2 is the higher y which is this one that's the y up here so we call it y minus our y1 is what you have down here and that is the point here which is point c okay so all over our x2 is the x we have here which is this one and so we have x minus our x1 that is remember this is our x2 here which is this x and our x1 is the x here which is actually point zero okay remember the origin is zero all right so from here you are going to have that m is equal to y minus c all over x minus zero is equal to x all right and this will simply give us cross multiply you will have that mx is equal to y minus c and so we can see from here that if you make a uh, uh, y the subject here your y will be alone this minus c coming over here will just become plus c so you have mx plus c so that's how this formula was generated and the reason i ch choose to show us this is because there is no need cramming any of this so all you need to do is just know the different forms the slope intercept form the slope point form and the intercept intercept form once you know it you can actually generate these formulas by yourself even without cramming anything all right so that's how we got this so let's look at the second one so how the what is the nature of the formula gotten when you have the slope and a point so it looks this way our y uh, sorry our equation is this that is y minus y1 where your y1 is the y coordinate of the point you are given and it is equal to m which is the slope times x minus x1 where x1 is the x coordinate of the point you are given like in this case you can see the point you are given it means that our y1 in this question is 1 and our x1 is negative 2 where our m is minus 3 so all you need to do substitute here and your equation will come out so how did this formula uh, come about how did we generate that formula the same thing we're also going to form uh, um, you know a slope triangle here when we form that slope triangle let me say i do it this way if we extend this here so the point at this upper part is always our x comma y okay so from there we can generate our formula by the, the same uh, um, slope formula i talked about which says that uh, your m which is slope is equal to y2 minus y1 and uh, in this case what is our y our y2 is always the upper y which is just y minus y1 is the last y which is also represented as y1 here and that is over x2 is x minus x1 so if you cross multiply here 
you will quickly get that our remember that this is over one i'm removing here now i'm cross multiplying this and this okay so if you cross multiply you will see that y minus y1 is going to be on this side equal to our m here will now multiply this other down part so we'll have m times x minus x1 okay and that gives you the formula for when you have point slope form and that's what you can use to generate this in fact if you allow me i can actually solve this example here so you to generate this equation is simply y minus my y1 is 1 and that is equal to my slope is negative 3 and in bracket x minus x1 my x1 is minus 2 and that's going to give us y minus y1 equal to minus 3 into x plus 2 if you open that bracket and that's going to give us y minus y1 is equal to minus 3 that's minus 3 times x is minus 3x and minus 3 times 2 is minus 6 and so when you collect everything to the other side you have y minus 3 coming here becomes plus 3x and then minus 6 coming here becomes minus 1 plus 6 which is going to give us plus 5 and that is equal to 0 and this is our required equation and in this case it means our a is the coefficient of y which is 1 and our b is 3 our c is 5 let's go to the next form of uh, equation how does the, the equation look like when you are given an intercept intercept that means you're giving the x intercept and the y intercept the equation looks this way x all over a where a is the x intercept plus y all over b where b is your y intercept and that is equal to one so this is the nature of the equation of a straight line when you have the intercept intercept given to you like this example we are told that we are should we should find the equation of a line you know when the y intercept is one and the x intercept is one over four so you make use of this formula so how did we come about this formula we are going to combine two things one the slope and then the equation we got from the intercept sorry the slope point form that's from this b that's we're going to join the two of them to get the formula for this and quickly let's see that so what's going to be the slope of this particular uh, you know form of a straight line equation look at this point this is your y intercept here and this is our x intercept and that is to say that uh, if you look for your slope here your slope is simply going to be and what is our y2 here our y2 is b minus y1 our y1 is 0 and that is all over uh, x2 which is 0 you can see it here 0 minus x1 which is a okay so when you subtract that you are going to see that our slope is simply equal to b all over minus a okay so now when we now bring the formula we just formed in the earlier slide you see that your 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 equation is y minus y1 okay so what is our y1 in this equation our y1 is 0 okay and that is equal to our slope which is minus b over a into the bracket of x minus our x1 our x1 is a so you subtract a here okay so what happens next remember our intent is to get this particular equation so what do we do next when you subtract this left hand side you just have y there now open this bracket that's going to give you minus bx all over a and then minus b over a multiplying this of course a will cancel this a and minus times minus will give us plus so we'll have plus b left here from here now if we divide every term here by b divide through by b see what i am saying divide everything by b so to divide here by b i multiply this to and the denominator by b and so i divide here by b so what will happen this b will cancel this b this b will cancel this b so you have one here and so what is that 
And so that's going to give us y all over b is equal to minus x over a plus 1. So take minus x over a to the other side. That's going to give us that final formula. x over a, since it's negative, it will change to positive plus, uh, plus uh, y over b equal to 1. And that is the required formula. So this is the formula that we got, which is uh, what we are using. Whenever you are given two intercepts and you are required to find the equation of the straight line. So, but once you can always remember this formula, you can just substitute the two intercepts and you will get your equation. However, if you don't remember, it's always good to learn how to generate these formulas by yourself so that it won't be an issue of cramming and forgetting. But of course, by you know constant use, you will actually get used to all of this. All right, this is where we'll end it for this video. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, give a thumbs up to this video, and also share our YouTube channel to your friends and your family. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.